We are joined today by Chris Brophy. He is the new CEO of Crossing Rivers Health. Give us a little background uh, for those that don't know you that well yet. Moved to the area with my wife about five years ago. I've had various roles here. Um, my background is, is finance and business. However, I've, I've had the pleasure of being involved at the organization for a little over five years and found a passion for rural health. As you uh, worked here and an opportunity to uh, take on that CEO role, um, what was the motivation to, to, to take on that role, to pursue that? It's a big step. It's a big challenge. The last three years being in you know, executive leadership here is in, you know, in the CFO and chief operating officer role, working with so many different you know, providers, support staff, everyone along the way. You know, really opened my eyes to what some of the possibilities are are here, and that's one of the things that motivated me to be part of that, to to help enable and to help push those, you know, care initiatives, the quality initiatives, you know, not not strictly just you know the functioning of the business, but the delivery of care and how to make it better, not just for this organization but most importantly, the patients that we serve. What's something that patients should know as we look toward the future of Crossing Rivers Health? One of the most important aspects of it is our continued support and dedication to the communities that we serve. Um, you know, this year upcoming, we have you know, a new round of the community health needs assessment. One of those things that you know, is, is vital for us as an organization, you know, that participation and being able to you know, get the information you know, from all of the stakeholders, whether that's community members, business leaders, anything like that, you know, getting that information and being able to develop what programs are needed for our community. So in your experience, you've been at uh, many other healthcare organizations, mainly large ones. Um, how does that experience um, uh, contrast or compare to uh, a rural hospital in this setting here? What the factors are that drive and impact rural care delivery versus um, large fee-for-service care delivery, um, they're, they're, they're tremendously different. Um, one of the most notable things is the importance of the relationship with the community. The delivery of care in a rural area has tremendous challenges, and some of these challenges, um, they're not necessarily unique to us, but some of the challenges end up becoming, um, they, they drive right to the forefront. Um, recruitment and retention of providers, um, the specialties, you know, having to not travel, you know, upwards of 60 miles one way to, to receive your care. That ends up driving some different, um, some different, you know, patient determinations of whether they make choices on whether to receive care or not. When we talk about the future of the organization, it definitely feels bright with the new facility, new providers, new services being added. Uh, what are you excited about for the future at Crossing Rivers Health? Yeah, Dan, it, it's a it's a very exciting time for the organization. Um, the the growth of not just our outpatient services, but also the addition of providers. Um, it really shines a bright light on on where we can go. The key component is is our staff. Um, it, it doesn't matter what the role is, but um, the, the staff is really what, what drives this organization. It, it is not just the heart, the engine, whatever you want to call it. Um, that's what drives these, these organizational advances ahead. You know, the willingness to, to push into some things that are maybe not just the same old way we've always done it. Um, you know, we've, we've made a tremendous amount of progress over the past um, I've, I've, no, I've seen the organization change over the last five years since I've been here tremendously. Um, you know, there's, there's a, lot of, a lot of opportunities for us to, to work differently, to work with each other, to really drive some of those initiatives that not just bring value to the organization, but most importantly, drive high quality care for the patients that we serve.